Eager, Fear Buster Coach here, and you know what day it is. Everybody say it with me. Type it in. Type it into the comments. What day is it? Fear. Let's do a drum roll. Fear Buster Friday. Woo! Fear Buster Friday. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. How is everyone on this Fear Buster Friday? This is Lydia Rieger, your Fear Buster Coach, where I help you bust those fears right out of the park. That's right. So I've been reading on, um, and I just started reading um, this book for my Fear Buster Fridays called You Squared. You know, I've read this book before, of course. Um, but I'm sharing this on Fear Buster Fridays. So if you want to know more about the book, of course, you can go get it. But, you know, if you want to hear comments about it, then join me on Fridays. Now, I never know when I'm coming on live on Fridays uh, these days. But, um, but anyway, here we go. So You Squared, it's by Price Pritchett. So only a pretty thin book as you can see but it's super powerful now um, the one Friday I started with the introduction of it was sort of a short they're all short all the chapters are short so you know very easy read but you know in that regard but you know it makes you think and it, and it, it blows your mind you know all right so um, one I only did this twice so far I think so uh, the first time it was uh, reading the introduction, and then last time it was reading the first chapter, which is called The Promise. And now I'm going to read the little chapter called Quantum Leaps. Okay, here we go. Quantum Leap is a term taken from the vocabulary of the new physics, quantum, quantum phys physics. The science behind such technological breakthroughs as lasers, television, computers, space communication, and nuclear energy. Quantum physics is described as the most powerful science ever conceived by human beings. It requires a major rethinking of such concepts as time and space and how human consciousness operates. Quantum physics also has staggering implications regarding you, <laughs> your potential, and the power of your mind. To put it simply, as human beings, we are going to have to reframe our ideas about the universe and how we fit into it. Fred Allen Wolf, in his award-winning book titled Taking the Quantum Leap, describes the term as the explosive jump that a particle of matter undergoes in moving from one place to another. In a figurative sense, taking the quantum leap means taking a risk, going off into uncharted territory with no guide to follow. Physicists studying quantum mechanics note that particles make these jumps without apparent effort and without covering all the bases between the starting and ending points. What's going on here? It says, that's what I want to know. What's going on here? How does this happen? And is it possible for you as an individual to do something very similar in your personal performance? And there you have it. It was a one page chapter. They're all about that short, see? <laughs> and, um, and yes, I believe, I believe it is possible for us to have a so-called quantum leap in our personal performance. And if so, if this is true, how in the world do we begin with this concept even and implement it into our lives? You know, that's the question, right? Fear busters, right? Am I right? 
I think it can start with simply thinking that you are in your quantum leap already. Ooh, what if we were already in our quantum leap? Um, and, and right now you could ask yourself, well, what if, what if I could have a quantum leap? What if I could have that right now? Yeah. Um, now, of course, they're not logical, you know, quantum leaps aren't logical. Skip steps, what, you know, isn't life and, and goals about taking steps? How could I skip a step and still make my goal? You know, it's, it's a little unheard of, right? Um, but, you know, they're not logical, but I think it's totally logical in the sense that it can work, it can happen. And, and that I think that's the best part is that, that it can happen effortlessly. Now, you might be thinking, okay, now, wait a minute, you know, I've got this goal, I've been working really hard, you know, me too, you know, I got goals and dreams, I've been working really hard. But sometimes when I kind of release the hard part of it and, and, and just imagine that it's already here and happening, it, it, there's something that gets easier about that. So um, I think that, and, and also, here's the other thing. You think, like, skip steps, what? No, like, I don't, yes, some things could be skipped in the sense that you probably don't have to do every single thing you think you should do in order to get to whatever goal it is. Um, I, I think that it's not about, you thinking like, oh, I get to sit back and do nothing, you know, uh, with, and that's how I have a quantum leap. I don't think it's about you doing nothing. You know, I think it's about you still taking the s steps that you think you should take. Um, but it's also about getting in harmony and getting in vibration with, well, what if, what if I could do this and what if it could be easy? And, um, so I think, and I also think it's a, more about who you're being and, and how you're thinking about your, your goal or your dream and how you're acting. So I think if we put in to mind how we're being, how we're acting, how we're thinking, that it doesn't have to be so hard and just think of what if questions. So here's your fear buster move for today. Ask yourself one of these following questions or all of them. Ask yourself, what can I do to have XYZ goal, okay? To have a quantum leap in that goal. What can I do to have a quantum leap? Okay, that's question number one. Question number two is, who can I be in my quantum leap? Who can I be? And third question is, what thoughts can I think? If I'm having a quantum leap right now, or what if it's coming soon, what kind of thoughts can I think that will help me jump from here way up here to there and and yes it's absolutely possible and just know that i believe in you fear buster and you can be a fear buster too <laughs> yes and thanks for watching hi luce i see you yes yes uh yeah i love i love you say you love that book uh, i love it too that's why i'm sharing it and um and yes yeah, so remember remember make every day what a fear buster day let's clap again that was a kind of a wimpy clap there make every day a fear buster day bye for now